Earlier, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja terminated the terrorism and treason charges brought against the nationwide protesters by the Inspector General of Police. Justice Obiareguatu struck out the charges upon its withdrawal by the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Agbemi, on behalf of the federal government. Telesina area has more. Upon the President's directive, the Attorney General of the Federation, through the Director of Public Prosecution, approached the Federal High Court to exercise Section 174 of the Constitution to take over the case from the Inspector General of Police. President Bola Tunibu had on 14 November ordered the AGF to drop all charges against the nationwide protesters, majority of whom are believed to be minors. The Nigerian police had on 2 November arranged 76 minors on charges of terrorism and treason. At today's proceedings, the AGF requested for invocation of the same section, 174 of the Constitution, to discontinue the trial of 119 accused persons. Following no objection to the request from various lawyers representing the accused persons, Justice Egwa took the request and struck out the charges. Although the accused persons were not in court, the judge ordered their immediate release from the remand center. It's a state offense. If the alleged offense has been established, it is a state high court of Canada that will try this matter, not federal high court. It's a protest. I never seen a protest has become a crime only in Nigeria. Shortly after the court's ruling, the defendants arrived at the court premises. They were pleased with the discharge of the case against the earlier ruling of the court, which remanded them in Bolster Center and adjourned to January 2025. The protesters were handed over to their respective state governors by Vice President Kashim Shatima on behalf of President Tunubu. There are 76 protesters from Kano expected to depart Kano for Abuja today in a chartered flight paid by the Kano government. Celestina Iria, CVC News, Abuja. And UNICEF has welcomed the immediate action taken by President Bola Tinobu, who's directed the release of all children and young persons detained uh, on charges linked to the nationwide protests. UNICEF acknowledges the decision as a significant step towards safeguarding the rights of minors in conflict with the law and commands the involvement of the Honorable, comments rather, the involvement of the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and the Minister of Women Affairs in swiftly addressing this issue.